Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. I've uh, <laughs> swapped them ships for non-running ones. <laughs> so there's no smoke coming out of them, they look a bit better now. I'm just sat there. Um, I've been doing a bit of town talk planning. <laughs> Higgledy piggledy roads here and there everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't do grids. <laughs> we don't get... We don't build in grids over here. Our, our towns and things, are roads going all over the place. Um, it's, we don't do things in straight lines in this country. <laughs> Which I like this. I like this, even though it looks a mad mess. Well, the intention is basically just to get some routes coming in, um, so that when we join the main roads up later and there's traffic, they've got options to get in and out of the town, so we don't have big traffic jams. So there's going to be three routes going in that way. Um, and three routes coming in this way um, and then we need to figure out a, uh, a bridge coming over maybe over this this way or something and uh, get out around and down there um, so yeah I've, I've stuck a load of roads in I managed to sneak a tunnel in under there it looks a bit weird when you get close up to it there's a bit of clip in there but um, that's going to give me access for everything on this side as well now so it'll give me more reach to that station so there'll be more people coming um, I've done made a start on the depot yards just started planning things out put some footbridges coming in so we're not going to have any traffic over this side it's just going to be um, purely pedestrian but we're going to get a load of industrial buildings in here um, get some assets in here get some cranes by the side of the tracks put a load of carriages and stuff on there Make it look like it's a an active, working, busy place. I've, I have deleted some of the um, some of the signals off the tracks, just because the trains were too close together, and I thought rather than messing about trying to space them out, I'll just make some bigger gaps in between these, so they they're spacing themselves out um, a bit more. Not completely, but. As the trains get a bit faster, they will do as well. Okay, so today we're going to build this castle. We get a big castle in here. I think we'll have a moat around it again. I like, I like that. We'll start sort of mapping out where the moat's going around. Room for a little footbridge coming around there. Coming up here. Got like a little lake over here, actually. Right, so let's try that, see what it does. Autosave. <laughs> I've set the autosave to every 15 minutes because <laughs> um, yesterday when I was doing that decorating up there, I spent about 20 minutes cleaning up all the streets and stuff, tidying up and everything. And I just started building that church and I crashed the game putting the fence in. <laughs> it was about 25 minutes in, I had it set to every half hour, so there was no save game. Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, so there was no save game, so I lost it all. <laughs> What's that doing? No, that's not what I wanted at all. There we go. Right, now let's get a uh, gravel ground. Sure can be sandy, yeah, because we're down this way anyway. Do. Oh, right, let's move it on now. Oh, careful, we don't take too much of that river out. Oh, it's just a little bit on the low side. But <laughs> one of my dogs just come charging. 
magic blast. <laughs> Once he got a stick. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> right, so let's get a little footbridge in here. Side of it. Um, I need to, let's put some blockers in actually. Right, I'm just going to make sure that the AI doesn't start building anything. So I'll go around with these. If you're unfamiliar with what this is, this is part of the Joel Freed mod box, um, and these are underground collision objects prevent the AI from building. So you need you need to get them up close to the roads and you also need to do them a little bit further back from the roads because you will build buildings that are offset from the road sometimes. But only a, only a little distance so you only have to get a few in. But if you do leave any gaps you will find it. in this but um, <laughs> it is necessary otherwise yeah I start building roads and things and wrecking what you've built <laughs> building houses in the golf courses <laughs> yeah I'm gonna put a golf course up here up here as well well that built down there let's block off that section there so let's get some rocks rocks rock, rock. Yeah, and into the water as well. And I do quite a lot on these steep edges because otherwise you get floaters. And if you overlap on me, you look a bit more realistic. Quite heavy on the rocks around here. Some trees and bushes up in here as well. Leave a few little gaps so we can stick some stick the bush in here and there. This is time consuming as well. <laughs> to the inside once I've got the, uh, the castle in there. Shallow that bit. That's all right. Not my now. There goes a the little steam train. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't hear that. It was my dog running past it. But one of my dogs. I've got two Jack Russells. <laughs> They're very feisty, very playful. They make a lot of noise at times. <laughs> Right, so, okay. Let's get some bushes. Some bushes whacked in here. We'll get some trees in there as well. In fact, let's do some. Oh, get yeah, some trees in. That's a bit close to that, yep. She's down the middle of there as well, decorate that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm recording quite early, so the dogs are <laughs> <laughs> too 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Get a bit distracted with them. <laughs> right, so also in this Joel Freed mod box we have the uh, fortification buildings and pieces. So we can start with the uh, start with a portal. Some of these textures are a bit repetitive, some I'm not really that keen on. I'll go with this one, yeah. Alright, oh, this fun now. Try to line up these pieces. Get the entrance there. Okay, so on the wall. type of wall, we're just going with the smallest size at the moment um, just for the outer wall if you want to figure out where to join it up, if you look at the shadow if you get it to the point where it closes and then just a little bit further that will join up um, you can't always do that depending on where the position of the shadow is that's reasonably good, I quite like that, that's quite Line it up, eyeball it, and then look at the shadow. Now, that one's lower down because of the terrain. So, let's go a bit higher. Let's try that one. Ages to build. <laughs> right, so that's almost. Can go up a little bit. That's a little bit too high. Point one doesn't really make any difference. On that one. It takes me so long because I'm trying to get things looking right. Ah, that'll do, that's as close as it's going to get. Right, so towers. Let's get some towers in here. Not that one, we want this one. Right on the lowest setting. Ah, it's not the lowest setting, but in fact, we're going to, yeah, let's lower these down a little bit. We're going to put some bigger ones on the inside then, you see. So about there. About there. I haven't changed the flag. You can change the flags on them as well, but... Uh, yeah, you can't really see the flag from a distance anyway, so... Let's go some walls again. As we on B. No, we are on B, weren't we? Let's set that off. I'm going to start going round. Um, I think I'll do a time lapse. Right, you've seen the mod now. <laughs> um, otherwise, it's going to be another hour and a half, two hour episode, and it, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of me just faffing about and going, um, uh, uh. <laughs> it's not that interesting, really. So, yeah, I'll just get a few pieces in. Uh, reasonably well lined up. 
tower, C, no tower, tower flag, C, there we go. Set it on low. Make these thinner as well if I want to, but. So yeah, I'm gonna go around and um, I'll come back to you when I've got the, this castle done. Let's pick a pick a decent spot, decent spot to have a look at it while I build. About there, I reckon that'll do. Yeah, right. Okay, I shall be back in a few minutes. Thank you, little train. <laughs> right, so we have a we have a castle. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll explain. <laughs> it looks good, though. I like it. I've just hit play again, <laughs> so time hasn't gone on anything. I've had it on pause the whole time. I did save it a few times in the process, just in case it crashed. But we didn't have any crashes or disasters, luckily. So we've got roads. Uh, footpaths going all the way around and uh, so people can wander we've got sorry about the dogs <laughs> um, I've got some people magnets <clears throat> in these turrets at the back I've got one in here a couple over here and I've got some in the ones at the back just to uh, just to get some people coming down these buildings are set to active um, they're set to low so I don't want to get tons and tons of people down here do you mind you? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I'm being a bit distracted by a, a little demon in the background. <laughs> right, so, it, yeah, um, so I've made it into like a sort of medieval type um, touristy destination type thing. We've got a little jousting tournament going on down here. I've stuck some posts in. I hope you can hear me over the noise in the background. <laughs> um, these are um, sort of gate posts. <laughs> um, yeah, crossing posts the only thing I could find that I could use. But, but, uh, yeah, sort of some military tents. Um, I wouldn't mind some older looking, sort of, you know, all the looking military tents, but that'll do. We have to we have to disp dispend with uh, belief a little bit, don't we? Um, so I've got some cafes and stuff in around. Let's just start bringing some people down here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It looks gone quiet now. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> a little bridge going in there. Have a look at it from the train. We've got a train coming. Always oh, one there. Oh yeah. That's a cracking view. I think it might be a screenshot there, I think. <laughs> I forgot which button it is. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. That's a that's a great view of the castle coming on there. It's been trundling along. We should get some new trains soon. So only a couple of minutes for you, but <laughs> best part of two hours work for me there. <laughs> I've got blockers in absolutely everywhere around inside it. Um, so I've just got people sort of assets sitting around them. Some of them are 
a little bit sunken, I think. And I know they're all of different ages, but I don't want to be having to change them as the time goes on. That's just going to stay as it is. As it is, I'm going to leave the leave a bit of room around the outside for the AI to push down if it wants to. <clears throat> it shouldn't be too long before this starts filling in. So I reckon it. I reckon it will start building down here. It's going to be a draw for people, definitely. Got a few people there. So is any anybody waiting? Trains coming down this way. Here's one. He's got 12 people on. Cool. So it's just all commercial down here, so <coughs> no residential at all. We're going to stick some industrial up here. I'm going to get some assets. I was going to do this today, but I'm starting to get a bit tired now. Um, so I'm going to do this later off camera. I might do a little time lapse just to start the next episode off. Yeah, I think I will. I'll do a time lapse for the next one. Um, because what I plan to do is I want to get this done, um, get it all decorated up and everything, get this road extended, um, joined up, another road coming down here, um, and then I want to get the golf course in. A big golf course in around here, some footbridges going over the train tracks. So that this part of the train's gonna be going right through the middle of the golf course. I have to do a fair bit of landscaping around here. But I want it sort of reasonably hilly. Because of ones I did on the previous map were all pretty flat. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, yeah, well, I'll make it. I'm going up, up and down hill and stuff. <laughs> and then I want to put the football ground in here. I've stuck some blockers in. Um, just stop the AI from growing in there. I'll go and take all them out before I start building. Um, so, yeah, so that, the golf course, and then the football ground. That'll probably cover the next, definitely the next episode, maybe the next couple. Um, yeah. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Actually more than quite happy with that, I'm I'm really happy with that. Yeah. It looks good from a distance. It's gonna look good from flying around. And then once we start getting all this decorated up and everything. I need to I really need to start thinking about getting some goods coming in as well, getting some food on the go or something. Just so the town starts growing. I'll probably put the four times mod on at some point, slow it down uh, if, it, if it's going a bit too quick. We're already seven years in. Don't forget, I only started at 1870 rather than 1850. Just so, well, for that train station and so that we could sort of push it on a little bit further than we have been doing. <coughs> Oh, than I, I have been doing, I should say, before my computer started having problems. Choo choo! I love these little trains. <laughs> They're so cute. You can see the people in them now. Oh, I spoke for choice on screenshots. <laughs> Think about actually still use the uh, the first one that I took, which is a close up of the, the boat at the dock. Yeah, so. As your little train trundles off, I shall say good night. <coughs> so, thank you very much again for watching. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Everybody that's subscribing, I'm up to 170 now. <laughs> I 
This is great, I'm really happy with that. This town's gonna look magnificent. This town's great. It's starting to look pretty good already. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Um I shall be back tomorrow or the next day, certainly soon. Um and we'll get something else built, we'll get them done. So yeah. Good night.